A U-bolt is a simple, classic example of the sweep tool. So let's take a look at what it takes to model a U-bolt. A U-bolt is a simple sweep of a circle around a U-shaped path. In this example, we will have two sketches, one for the U-shaped path and the other for the circle reflecting the diameter. Let's start with the U-shaped sketch on the front plane. A simple line, arc, line create the basic shape. Make sure that your arc is centered vertically over the origin and that the line's endpoints are horizontal with the origin. This makes it easier later to draw the circle profile for the sweep. Add the appropriate dimensions depending on the size of the U-bolt you're creating. Now that we have the path sketch for the U-bolt, we need to sketch the profile. Remember we want our circle profile at the very end of the path. Because we place the endpoints horizontal with the origin, we can use the top plane to draw a circle profile. We do not need to insert a reference plane at the end of the U-shaped sketch. So now we're in a sketch and I can sketch our circle. I'll define the diameter and then attach the circle's center point pierce with the U-shaped sketch. The pierce constraint ensures that the center point of my circle is attached to the point where the U-shaped sketch passes through my current sketch plane. Now that this is fully defined, we can move on to the sweep. Select the sweep command from the toolbar and select profile and path. It is sometimes easier to select these from the feature list as opposed to the graphics. This allows you to select the entire sketch without selecting it in the graphics and pieces. So a simple U-bolt is just a matter of two sketches and a sweep. But for extra style points, let's take a look at modeling the threads. A thread is defined by a swept cut of a triangle following a helix. The first step for us is the helix. Here I'm going to sketch a circle and extrude a construction surface the length that I'd like the thread. Then select the helix and select the surface as my reference. Use the pitch as option and type in the pitch of the thread. This is a 20 pitch thread so I can divide 1 by 20. Now that we have a helix, we can sketch a thread profile. A standard thread is a simple equilateral triangle that's just smaller than the pitch of your thread. Attach the triangle to the helix with a pierce constraint, and we are ready to sweep. Select the sweep command and select the triangle as your profile and the helix as your path. We're going to create a new part with this sweep so we can pattern it to the other side of the U-bolt. Now that the sweep is complete, we can pattern. Select the linear pattern command and select the right plane as the reference. The thread sweep is the entity to pattern, and then set the spacing. Set the pattern to remove, and we have our threads.